hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel and uh, in this video we will repair this chinese disco light or led light or star light so let's start without wasting any time first of all you need to open this now what you will get inside if there is a led with heat sink so i have already disconnected them you have to disconnect th these leds from this and then you have to open this like this and what you will get inside it there is a motor geared motor and a power supply you need to disconnect this power supply most of the time the power supply is, uh, is uh, not working so we will replace the power supply of it now i will show you uh, how to make power supply for this so let's start making power supply first of all you need to know about the circuit right now uh, i will show you the circuit So this is the circuit that is being used in the power supply. Let me show you it closely so that you can make it. So there is a uh, there are two 120 ohm resistors. Both of them are half watt. There is a 474 uh, 400 volt capacitor. This is a non polarized capacitor, and this is a 470 kilo ohm uh, resistor, which is one by uh, one by four watt. This is a bridge rectifier that you can make using four diodes. This is a 47 microfarad electrolytic capacitor and the voltage is 25 volt and this is a 16 volt 1 watt zener diode and these are the output terminals so uh, let's make this on a general purpose pcb so these are the components and let's start them arranging on the general purpose general purpose pcb So let me solder them now i have soldered the capacitor this resistor and this resistor now i will solder the remaining components and uh, i will show you the fully soldered pcb now i have soldered each and every component as you can see there is a resistor there is a resistor there is a bridge rectifier this is the capacitor electrolytic capacitor this is the zener diode so uh, next i will show you how to use it so now our power supply is ready and uh, we will solder it we will give these inputs to this power supply here and we will take out the output from these terminals so let me solder the power supply so now i have soldered this power supply to the input of the power supply now i will solder the output but before that you need to fix this in this case like this and then you need to take out these terminals We will add the uh, motor and this output power supply in parallel. 
and then we will solder it on this uh, uh, LED so let me connect them in parallel so now I have connected motor and the power supply in parallel and now I will connect uh, and solder these uh, inputs to the, the uh, LED So our LED is ready now. Now we will check it. And you can also use, uh, for example, paper or something that is insulator between the power supply and the motor so that there is no uh, short circuit or any uh, sparking or something else. Uh, here I am using this paper so to, se to separate the motor and the power supply. Now let me close it and you can also uh, stick this with using some hot glue or uh, using any uh, glue let me close uh, the whole setup now uh, let's close it and check it whether it is working or not So let's test it. So friends, let me show you whether it is working or not. Let me turn it on. So you can see it's working perfectly. So uh, in this manner, you can uh, you can repair your uh, uh, previous or uh, last year this this battery light. So friends. Thanks for watching and happy Diwali and please subscribe our channel, please share, please, please, please subscribe our channel.